Hey, welcome back to my second video on polynomials. Remember, if you have any questions, email me at absolutemathematics at yahoo.ca. So, my second video is going to be talking about the factor theorem. And the factor theorem basically states that x minus a is a factor of p of x if and only if p of a is equal to zero. Where p of x is any polynomial, or the one we'll be using, and p of a is the remainder, and a is any number. Alright, so that's pretty straightforward, but I'll use an example to help better explain what they're talking about. So our first example says, prove that x plus 1 is a factor of p of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay, so how can we prove that this is the factor of this polynomial here? Okay, well if we go back to our theorem, it says that x minus a, which in our case is x plus 1, is a factor of p of x, and this is our p of x here, um, is a factor if and only if p of a is 0, and p of a is a remainder. So to find the remainder of this, you have to do our polynomial divided by x plus 1, right? So if we do this, and hopefully you remember how to do long division, um, it's going to be x, x times x is x squared, plus x. Now if we subtract these two, we get 0 here, we get x here, and you drop this, you get plus 1. Now what times x is equal to x? That's plus 1. 1 times x is x, 1 times 1 is 1, plus 1, you subtract these two, and you get 0. So your remainder is 0. So if you go back to the th theorem again, it says x minus a is a factor of p of x of our polynomial if the remainder is 0. And we found that the remainder is 0. So that means x plus 1 is indeed a factor of p of x. And we just prove that using this. There's other ways of proving this that I showed in the previous movie. You can, um, in the previous video, where p of x is equal to x minus a times q. And this is your q, remember? Plus your remainder. So you can use that to help prove it, but this is probably the easiest way. Um, I have one more example. Sorry. Um, it states, is x plus 2 a factor of p of x when p of x is x to q plus 4x squared minus x minus 3 equal to 0? Okay, so we're going to we're going to see if it's a factor using the same technique we just did. So we're going to take our polynomial and we're going to divide it by our proposed factor. Now if this is a factor of this, then the remainder should be zero. So let's see if it works. So what times x equals x cubed? That's x squared. So you get x cubed plus 2x squared, subtract these two, you get 0, 2x squared, and drop the next term. Uh, what times x is equal to 2x squared? That's plus 2x. Multiply them out, 2x squared times plus 4x. Subtract these two, you get minus 5x. Uh, drop the next term, you get minus 3. What times x is equal to minus 5x? That's minus 5. Minus 5x minus 10. And then you get 0. And you get minus minus 10, that's plus 10. So you get plus 7. Plus 7 is equal to your remainder. So because your remainder does not equal 0, here I'll write it up here, remainder, or p of a, or whatever you prefer, 
is not equal to zero, therefore um, x plus two is not a factor of p of x. All right, hopefully this is clear. Remember, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at absolutemathematics at yahoo.ca. Thanks for watching.